Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and in this episode, we're going to do the Doomed Challenge. On the sub bomber difficulty in the Apocalypse Mode, the idea about the Doomed Challenge, which was suggested by... I hope I'm saying this right. Glubga? Something along those lines. Goes as follows. Grab only the Boy Scout book, radio, and map. So we're gonna start with that. Additionally to that, I'm allowed to bring two water and two food. All right, let's grab that. Where's 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 all the all the good stuff? Where is it hiding? We got the map so far. We need the radio and the Boy Scout book. Where's the Boy Scout book? Over here, right right on the bed. <laughs> On our bed. What are we doing with this, Dolores? With the Boy Scout book? Just wondering. All right. Now that I have all of these items, two water, two food. All right. Come on, grab the grab the water, not the food. Uh, I want to be. I want to say true to the challenge. I think over here. Nope. In there. Gonna hurry up a little bit, Weasel. Uh, come on, grab him. Come on. There you go. All right. A little cutting it a little close here. Nah, we got plenty of time. Absolutely nothing to worry about. I wish I could rotate around Ted. He looks a little bit weird, doesn't he? I like I like his cartoon version more. Anyway, that is what we're allowed in the Doomed Challenge. It didn't say anything about family members, so I assume it's just Ted. I'm gonna call it the Crazy Challenge because I think he's gonna be crazy on day two. I'm pretty sure having no one is gonna drive him crazy. When fire rains down from the sky, it's every man for himself. We don't have that much food, no one's complaining yet. But even canned soup might become an extravagant dish quite soon. Yes, yes, yes. If we're not losing anything, if nothing is lost, we might be able to survive 20 days on water. Actually, 24. I think on day 25, 26 we're gonna die if we don't magically find some water. Maybe the Merry Men are gonna over. Anyway, Ted has gone crazy, as I assumed. That kind of happens if you are alone in the shelter. Happens so fast. <sighs> Wouldn't it be fantastic if we would just get out and leave? Well, you can, Ted. No, but nobody's stopping you. There's, there's literally, literally, no one stopping you to leave this shelter. But you gotta stay inside. That's the challenge. That needs water to survive. Yeah, sure. On day five. What's that trickling sound? Why is the wall so wet? Are we about to get flooded? We don't have life preservers. Or a boat. A boat wouldn't even fit inside the shelter. Well, it's a flood. Of course it's a flood. I'm gonna I'm gonna save the radio. So I can get some radio transmissions from the military. But hey, yeah, take 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 from me. Take the last few items that I have. Cruel random events. Take from me. Why not? Hey, how about you take the soup and the water while we're at it? Ah well. At least we still have the radio. So what's left? What's left? Eh. Two water, two soup. By the way, if you guys want to see a certain challenge, leave your idea in the comments below. Or check if someone wrote already a challenge that you would like to see and vote it up, upvote it, and I will play the highest voted one. Just saying, before I forget about that later, I'll repeat that, I think. Some mornings we feel a bit hopeless. We need to pull ourselves together and be more optimistic. The army can't be far. That looks like he got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Well... Let's let's do that. Oh, that would be a shame if I forgot to give him something to drink. Actually, never mind. We can survive for 40 days. I've been totally calculating wrong. One bottle of four rations. So we have eight rations. So 45 days. We can survive for 45 days in here with Ted. That's actually not too bad. After all the time we spent on here, we are all not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. I can't do anything about that, Ted. But it's only you. Why do you care? Nobody's nobody's going to smell you. But now you're sick. Ah, well. That is just fantastic. Ted became infected with something. I can stay six days in a place without washing, without getting an infection from myself. What are you doing, Ted? Seriously, Ted, what is wrong with you? <sighs> yeah, you're already doomed. Good news, everyone! The government announced they will be dropping crates filled with supplies that we can't get because we don't have a gas mask! Oh man! Jolly good! Jolly good. Why don't you use your sock to clean your face? Tadeo's sock. I, I'm just gonna assume he, his name is Tadeo's. It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we didn't do it. Now we're gonna die in here. Coughing along. Hacking up along. Fantastic. 
Ted. My viewers are cruel. They're very cruel. Is this not my fault? If it got, if I could have said done something, I would have gotten a med kit for you. But hey, you're doomed. Ted's stomach is rumbling. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. He will. He will last quite a while. Uh, it is so warm. It is so incredibly warm. I'm I'm pretty much feeling Ted here with all those sweat stains and whatnot. <sighs> Luckily, I also have a fan. Ted is hungry. He looks like he got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Well, Ted, the thing about the drink. Oh, what's that? The last thing we hear uh, to hear. The last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player. Oh, it's the Merry Man! Let the Merry Man enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor. I'm a poor soul, Mr. Merry Man. I'm a really poor soul. You need to give me, you know, something. He gave me a med kit! Oh, the Merry Man are the best. Thank you, Merry Man. I don't know what I would have done. I mean, thank you, Merry Man. It's just great, and also water for Ted. Well, thank you, Lady Luck. You're not as cruel as I thought you would be. Ha ha ha! Alert! There's a gang of firefighters outside, or at least they're dressed like ones. They've been banging on the door, ordering us to surrender all of our supplies. They claim they will drive us out with fire if we don't comply. Guess the definition of a firefighter has somewhat changed. Well, I can't oppose them with anything because I don't have anything. Well. I guess they're gonna steal everything, or so, or... I don't know, let's see. We were not able to push the attackers back, but for some reason they left. They could have taken everything and killed everyone, but they just stopped their attack and turned back. Either we got lucky, or this is a prelude to something much worse. I kinda think that's going to, yeah, that's probably going to happen. Uh, Ted has recovered from his injuries, yes! Yes, okay, let's give him some food. I think he deserves some food. You didn't have any yet, have you? Probably not. Let's listen to the radio. And hopefully the military is going to come swing by and save us. I don't have high hopes. The Tsar Bomba difficulty? With this setup? No. No, no, no. Dead stomach is rumbling. Stomach. I, I can never say stomach rumbling properly when I say it the first time. We are not alone. There's a huge cherry bunny beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food stash. We can't let it go to it. We can't let it be here when we sleep. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit overly excited about the events that transpire in this episode. I, I, I just can't help it. And it's solar food. Thank you. That's just great. The beast of rodent one, it won in solar food. Great. Ted's stomach is rumbling. And if he doesn't drink, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> we have like half a can left. That's great. Great. Just great. <sighs> as long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. But we'll have to leave it eventually. Oh, well. Let's listen to the radio. I have nothing else to do. You know, just starving and listening to the radio. My favorite pastime activities. I think I'm not going to starve. I'm going to dehydrate. All right, the government has not fallen. Ted has always had a heart of gold. That's why we weren't really shocked to find him, whoever we are, feeding him our supplies to some disgusting fat cockroach. Well, there goes our last water. There goes our last water. Ted is hungry. Ted looked like he got one foot in a grave. Well, it's just, just great. So, Ted, you're hungry. So, yeah, let's let's do the thing with the soup. Um, can't go outside. Can't actually do anything about pancake. I think we're just gonna yell at him. I think that's that's the only thing we're doing. This doesn't look too good, does it now? I have a radio and a Boy Scout book. Maybe I can eat the Boy Scout book. Who knows? Ah, well, Ted looks like a one foot in the grave. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Let's give him some water. Oh, well, we can we can make a few more days. We're pretty sure the place we want to go in the middle of a big hole in our map, and that really ruins the whole point of using this thing. Well, at least I can repair it with the guy's Boy Scout book. That's great. By the way, I will not accept challenges that are clearly failing. Uh, you will always need two, one adult. Actually, you will always have Ted because you can, you will lose if you don't bring Ted into the shelter. So the da daughter-mother challenge doesn't really work unless I bring Ted and then never feed him. Because then he's dying. But uh, yeah, just, just keep that in mind. Same with the kids-only challenge. Doesn't really work. But yeah, we got a map back. I prefer food, but hey, I will take a map. I will gladly take a map. It's difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. Ah. It's going to be fine, Ted. Something magical is going to happen. You're going to be rescued in 
some way. Ted isn't acting normally. Really. Could would have not guessed that. Okay. Ah, this is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're no soup, they're no water. We swear some of them keep coming back, and they're bigger every time we see them. Ooh, maybe I can get some food. Maybe I will find a can of soup smashing a spider. No, but water. Thanks, game. I mean, I'm not gonna complain too much, but it's still, I really need some food. All right, let's listen to the radio. Maybe we can pick up some radio cheddar. Which, believe it or not, is actually not cheese, because it's written differently, so it's a completely different word. It's not radio cheddar, it's cheddar. Yeah, the more you know, right? Nothing, nothing, and nothing. We could hear nothing but the annoying static. That stomach is rumbling. Uh, yeah, that sucks, Ted. That really sucks that you're hungry. And I can't trade ammunition. This is the worst. This is the worst. The worsty worst. <sighs> oh, it's day 20. I'm hungry. At least I got water. And today an army broadcast interrupted, let's say, our breakfast. Ah, they want to meet us. Guess we're gonna uh, meet them. For what it's worth, I mean. It's gonna bring the military to us faster. Doesn't help though, because we still don't have any food. Yeah, let's listen to the radio. Maybe the radio will tell us where we can find food. Maybe. I, I don't think so. I think this should be the last day. I don't know how long his stomach is gonna withstand the hunger. Our favorite radio stopped broadcasting. We tried other frequencies. Should we tinker with the radio to increase its range? You know what? I'll tinker with the radio. I strongly believe that this is the last day. Yep, he broke it. He broke it. I hope you're happy, Ted. Well, that didn't go so well, and we broke the damn thing. Technology changes so fast these days, it's hard to keep up. Who needs a radio anyway? Yep. I agree. I really agree. You don't need you do not need a radio because you're probably going to die now. Still hoping for that for that for that saving event. He can last quite a while without food. That's actually surprising. Yep. If he doesn't eat today, it might end really badly. Looks like he got one foot in the grave. Well... You know what? I'm gonna give water... No, not, no, 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 I'm not gonna give him water. I don't even have enough water. Do I? I have zero wa bottles of water. Zero bottles of water on the wall. Zero bottles of water. Yeah, that, that it doesn't even matter because... Wait, how is he still alive? Ted, how are you... How are you still... How are you still alive? It said, if you don't eat today, it might end really badly. Well, I was hoping he would give me some food, but now I don't even have water. Well, that went south. I wonder if we dehydrated and starved. Well, let's see. Too many days without water took their toll. Ted died of dehydration. How can you survive so long without food? That is amazing. Anyway, this was the Doom Challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed me dying. I perished. I, I perished. In any case, leave your suggestions for other runs in the comments below. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.